to the sales budgeting and forecasting module. And I want to first off touch on what we're really looking at so you understand what's going on. So what we're looking at here is you're looking at current year versus previous year by item group, customer channel, and salesperson. So you can see over here in the dimensions that are showing up, you can see that it's showing current year for the entire year for budget. And we're looking at all customers and all items. And we can see this information right down here, which is by item group. If you look over to the right side, you're gonna see similar type information, but instead of looking at current year, we're looking at previous year. For the full year, for all periods, the version that we're looking at now is actual instead of budget. We're looking at all customers, we're looking at all items for a series of measures that are there. So approximately $25 million is set as the budget for sales for the current year versus the actual of the previous year of $24 million. If I go ahead and click on LED lamps in the top left, which is right here, I will be able to see the item detail breakdown. Notice that you can see the information that's showing and I can see LED lamps on the other side that's doing 3.7 of last year. But if I scroll down, if I move down a little bit where my customers are, I can see I've got a series of classifications that are there. You'll notice that electricians is accounting over here for $8.5 million of the budget for this year. If I wanna look at it in comparison to what they did last year, I can just scroll down over here and see the exact same information for last year's information. And I can see that last year we have $8.1 million. Now, I can see the breakdown by item group. I can also see the comparative right next to it. But not only am I seeing the information for the sales numbers, but I'm also seeing comparative with the addition of profit as a KP, KPI right over here. So I can see that information right next to it. So I have the ability to look at things however I want. I can scroll down even further to see some information with respect to that $25 million by salesperson. And I can see the comparative of last year on the right-hand side. If I went ahead and scroll down a little bit and I wanted to focus on one of the salespeople, Max, for example, who's accounting for $2.8 million, I have the ability to see the breakdown by customer. All I've got to do is just click on Max and I can see that breakdown. So again, everything is hierarchical in nature. If I scroll back up, I can see the information. Right now I'm looking at for the entire year. If I want to be able to filter things on a specific period, for example, I might want to filter it on period one to see what things look like. So I can look at my year, go into my quarters, and pick my period one. And all my information now is going to change for that specific information. So I can see, for example, electricians are accounting for $452,000. Now, if I wanted to focus all of my information just on electricians, I can just select over here, click on electricians, and that's all I'm gonna be focused on, and that's all I'm going to be seeing. So now I can see the 452,000 broken down by my different areas of my item groups, with the comparative of the previous year for electricians showing 431 broken down. The next tab that I'm gonna switch into is I'm gonna move over to the visual. And here I'm looking at a visual representation of current year actual versus budget for a specific period, period one in this case. Again, current year, 
period one for all items and all customers. Looking by channel and by item group, as well as by salesperson on the lower right hand corner. I'm also looking at a line chart of actual versus budget by period for the first six periods. If I scroll back up, I can actually select a different period. Instead of just selecting period one, I might want to look at an entire quarter. So I can click on the quarter. My numbers will change. Or I can actually go ahead and select an entire year. And all my information for the entire year will show up. Again, all the filters that we have for customers or items and so forth are also going to be able to be played with. Finally, if I move over to the ad hoc tab, I'm looking right now at the current year budget versus actual by period by customer channel. Notice that new revised $26 million budget is what's showing up here. I can click on a specific channel to see the individual customers. So if I pick one of them, I can see the breakdown of those customers. But I also have the ability to switch by not just looking at all my customers, but I can say, I wanna see this by salesperson. So I click on the all customers at the top and select all salespeople. And I'm gonna see the same distribution of that 26 million and 19 million of actual broken down by salesperson, where I can go in and click on a specific salesperson and see the customers that are associated to that given customer or given salesperson. If I want, I can also switch from the current year numbers. I can say, I wanna see it for previous year. And all my numbers will change in regards to that.